No, no, on you go. Crack on. What are you doing? Hello! Now can I speak? People, I've got a bone to pick on this People show. like the hello. Sorry, you, you carry on. I've got a bone to pick on this show. It's too good. It has been seriously disrespecting my boy Harvey. Where is Harvey? Well, you got, you got a nice clean in the last episode. Well, what's wrong? How is that disrespect? He's not being used! He's just clean, sitting there! Which is more than I can say from my kitchen right now. <laughs> just sitting there because we had snacks before this. We did. I have to say. So, oh, oh, I don't want to sit next to me. I... I'm, I'm rotating. Oh, my knee! <laughs> That's okay, you don't I that. don't want to sit like this because I don't like it. That's Cause, okay. Because now I'm like this and my angle isn't here. It's yeah, welcome here. to me where I have to sit like this because you're fat ass in the way. Well, like, this is our channel and yeah. we deserve a room better than my office. <laughs> <laughs> So donate here. We don't have a donation link. Wait, that was like donate on my face. Donate here. Donate on my face. That's <laughs> only fans content. That one. <laughs> so I've been filming today, and I'm just hyper. I don't know why I am like Great. the dog when the dog goes outside and you rattle the keys and he's like, "I'm going in the car." That is me today. I don't like this. That's what I've got to deal with. Are you happy now? Nope. Oh. Still not happy. There we go. Lord save me. This is where I be. You did do a really good job of painting this roof, did you? That's because I didn't paint it. You did. That wasn't me. Do you think I would use my noodle arms <laughs> to go like that and paint the ceiling with a roller? That no. That's not a very good job. Patches all over the place. That's because you did it once. And you always say you have to do it twice. Why am I getting bullied? Did I bring up? Yeah, he did! Now there's comments based on something I said in the first video, which is... So I said I hate this already, which doesn't mean I hate the show. It was me acting like a, a child, being like, I hate this already, because I was missing Game of Thrones, basically. So just to get that out there. I, I don't know how that's not obvious to people. Should have just called the video Breaking Bad Hater Reacts. Yeah, that would have got all the views. Yeah. Why are you looking at my chin? Because you're speaking, I was looking at your lips. Luscious lips. That's right. <laughs> anyway. Breaking Bad. Yeah. I, so... Yo, you know one I of my like favourite things? Favourite things about the show. I like it. My favourite things about the show. Anytime you mention the American healthcare system. Oh, <laughs> go I, you middle. know, I am not even scared of the subject, but I should be based on the comments. I don't know. There's just like so much copium. It's not even copium. It's just weird. It's like, yeah, the healthcare system will bankrupt you, but the NHS is rubbish. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> it is. Yeah. But at least at least when my granny fell and broke her hip, she wasn't bankrupt. True. And <laughs> what, what did your mum do yesterday? Oh, she broke a leg. Yeah. And she not bankrupt? No. And what's the show about? Um, a man who needs money for medical expenses because he can't afford them. So basically... Because he lives in the US. <laughs> if it offends you... People you're watching the wrong yeah, show! Because like, ultimately we are going to discuss that subject because someone actually, like, that's I, what it's about. I says to you, like the fav my favourite comment that I got was someone that was like, um, you shouldn't be talking about this because you're not American. I'm like, it's the show! <laughs> like, the, the premise of the show is that you can't afford it. Like, you can't well, afford the treatment. Basically you're not allowed to comment on the show. No, no. That's it. Well, I mean, there's been people that say that as well. Can you stop talking? You talk far too you talk much. Too much. We so, love the commenters, really. So if you want to watch the show, go and watch the show. I'm sure you can pick it up in HMV's bargain bin for about a fiver. And I'm almost 100% that there will be someone on YouTube that says hardly anything throughout the show. Oh my god. Looking at nobody in particular because I don't watch other channels. No. But I'm sure, like if I get told I talk too much in anime, it's because somebody else just doesn't say anything and that's what they're used oh, to. Oh, I've seen the anime people. You don't want today. 
I'm hyper as okay. I've had to deal with people's rubbish, actually, to be honest with you. You choose to deal with people's rubbish. I choose to be happy. The comment section would be quite nice. I quite like the comment section of the, uh, Yeah, of the this. comments in comparison to the comments for like Hot D and Game of Thrones. You guys are an absolute breath of fresh air. So thank you so much. Keep it coming because it makes us really happy. Yeah, it's nice when I can just scroll down and just like love heart. Yeah, comments. love heart like tons of those. As opposed to getting mad. Watching people posting essays yeah. about why the, the why green's a better colour than black. I tried to say to him though, like, don't always focus or don't always just reply to the people that are trying to wind you up or trying to get your attention because it's not really fair to the people that are like, you know what, Susie, you look like dashing today. And I'm like, ah, oh, no, thank you very much. No that, one, that one deserves. No one says I look dashing. They do sometimes. We have 20% females here. Someone said they love me. And, that's, and I said, maybe love her back. That's nice. Yeah. Someone sent us a wee breaking bag. I'm oh, sorry. A wee <laughs> Susie and Steejo breaking bag. bag. They oh, did, and it's right here. Watch her forget to put it in. I won't forget to put it in. Unfortunately, we're not looking for any art or anything like that, but because someone took the time Why to make it. Send us some art. Send us fa fan art. Fart. <laughs> <laughs> Send us some fan art and we will fart. No. Your art all over the screen. All over the screen. We'll do it like, a, what was that TV show? Art Attack. Art Attack. Oh no, didn't that guy turn out to be a dirty no. man? No. Or was that Blue Peter? I don't know, but leave the Art Attack man alone. <laughs> Everyone actually thought that he was Banksy for a period. Oh. The Art Attack man. That'd be funny. Must have been the way that he could make incredible pictures of art out of some old gym clothes and some footballs that and was such an amazing tv show i Look, loved I it a kid. i loved that yeah, yeah even great. even as i was gonna say even as a human being you had morph <laughs> morph was in it as well and then you had the the weird like statue bust guy that used to speak i didn't like that do you remember sesame street that was a good one anyway sesame street's still going no. Noosh. <laughs> Noosh. Noosh. Tickle me elbow was so big like 10 years ago. I'm just addicted to Bluey and I was a Bluey fan before Bluey was cool so now I don't like it because everyone likes it. You know? No. Okay. If you want to watch this unedited with us, make sure you head on over to suzylou.co.uk or head on over to the Patreon, the link in the description and also thank you so much for all the love we're breaking bad thank you so much to all the new subscribers keep subscribing to the channel i am gonna push this on you guys until you do it because i want us to get the plaque this year it would mean so much if we could get the 100k plaque this year i don't even want a plaque from a regular channel so we're gonna make it happen we're gonna get Steejo a plaque with his name on it my channel's been deleted like three times yeah mine too <laughs> YouTube loves us. <laughs> All right, episode five, let's go. I'm excited. No more bathtubs. I say lately, like we're on season five. Wow, great. But this position truly is a no experience necessary kind of thing. Well, and uh, it doesn't really say it here, but um, I have a solid background in, uh, in sales. But if you don't need any experience, then hire him. I really feel I could be a major, major asset to your sales force. Uh, I'm thinking there's a little misunderstanding. Uh-oh. I'd be happy to consider you for a sales position, but... Oh, no. Our agents need to be licensed, have at least two years on-the-job experience, and usually a college degree. It's a sign spinner or something, I think that's what they're doing outside. What you'll be doing this morning... Uh, advertising. Oh, no, he's going to dress up as a pizza. Yeah, as a sign oh, spinner. No. Oh, no. I seen that just like past him and I was like, no. Hey, Jesse. Hey, man. Oh, oh God, no. he's going to get hit by a car. Badger, where have you been keeping yourself? Nice duds. Yeah, you too. It looks quite nice in a suit. Although I, I prefer the yeah, other you style. Do this but... lame <laughs> job anyway. I mean, no, no offense. Because I'm on probation, yo. Got to prove to the man I'm rehabilitated. I can't think of anything more humiliating. I know, I know. There's all these moves you have to learn, like the helicopter. 
<laughs> wish, 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 wish! That's mad, no! <laughs> that one's a I'm not very good at it yet. What are you talking about? That was expert! Hey, anyway, son. Thanks for the toke. Anytime. You would have to be high to do that job, wouldn't you? You could maybe uh, hook me up with some crystal? Ah, uh, nah, man, I've been, I've been out of the business for a while, actually, now. So the guy that stands outside the Apple shop saying, we fix Apple devices this way. <laughs> hey, I'd never seen him do the helicopter with that sign, though. Nothing nearby. Nah, I mean, I, I had this, uh, this partner who was helping me cook. I mean, I was doing most of the work, but... Hi. <laughs> well, yeah, of course. Anyway, I mean, pseudo's getting harder and harder to come by. And... Yo, I can hook you up with some pseudo. <laughs> Major pseudo. This guy needs to be a VA because his voice is so strange. <laughs> that is ridiculous. No pressure, no pressure. Just think about it, all right? I gotta go. Oh, I smacked him with the wing. <laughs> I'm flying high. See, he's got dice. I lost my Crash Bandicoot dice. Oh, no, what are they? <laughs> da -da 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 bills, yo! <laughs> Sweet of savings. It's very admirable that Jesse's trying to get a job, though. Yeah, but you just go and cook math. It's life advice. Well, I know which one I'd prefer to do. I'd want to dress up like a burger or something, at least. A <laughs> burger. Just wait to Happy Meal. I'd love to go to Disney and dress up like Donald Duck. That's my dream. You can't even do a Donald Duck voice. No one can do the Donald Duck voice. VA can. We have to go. I know, I'm not complaining. Yes, you are. Look, we need this. We've been through a lot lately, okay? It's the only way to get him off the weed. We didn't get the beige memo. <laughs> oh my lord. We're okay. Yes, I, I like his jacket. Look like I'm wearing a prom dress from 1980. Honey, you look, look stunning. Ugh, like I yes, love that the dress. Thing I could find that fit me. And the head is wild. I love it. The invitation said no gifts. So come on. Just pretend you've already put yours down. It's fine. Who's this for? Thank you. You're welcome. Who's the rich people? <laughs> Elliot. <laughs> Walt. You made it. <laughs> Is this a cult? <laughs> cult of beige and white? It's called a dress code, babe. Well, he stays a little more big than beautiful, but... Of course! <laughs> Congratulations, that was such great news! Thank you. Gretchen, look who's here! Ah, oh, no, not Gretchen. Oh, oh it's been ages! Oh, oh. oh, it's so good to see you. <laughs> I just want to know who these people are so bad. Really good. That was a chick. From the last episode that he was chatting up, was it not? In the school? Mm-hmm. Congratulations to both of you. Hard work and yeah. uh, a lot of luck. A lot uh, of luck. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I thought that was his wife that he was talking to in the classroom. What he said, all oh, the chemistry. No. Oh! She was a waitress in a cocktail bar when he met her. Oh! And they done a puzzle on the New York's time crossword thingy. Do do do. Oh, all makes sense now. <laughs> so this could have been you. Well, I mean, if he's the one that made the money, maybe not, but... I'm assuming they're partners. I like to think so. Great man, it. Doesn't partners. look like they're partners, it's all him. <laughs> oh my god. So if he's the one with the money, if he tells her and they've had a thing in the past, maybe they'll give him the money. Maybe. For his treatment. <laughs> but that would make it a really short show. Depends if they want something in return, like crystal meth. <laughs> like, like a load of meth. You try to tell me that rich people don't do drugs? No. Rich people are the drugs. Rich people do more drugs than poor people. I love his suit jacket. Why do I feel like she's telling him? I don't know. <laughs> Long time no see. Oh, this is Look at those glasses and everything. <laughs> Put margarita glass. This is the white in gray matter. Intellable. Oh. Schwartz, black, 
Walter White. So together they became Gray Matter Technologies. Thank you, Doc. So you run the company with Elliot? Oh, no. Uh, no, that's that's Gretchen and, and Elliot. Yeah, yeah. Why do I feel like that wasn't the case? Mm. That it should have been him. Yeah, we'll see. It's a Stratocaster. <laughs> no! Any strat. So That's he's turned pockets. out to have all of this. I'm the girl. Yep. Thank you. This is Oh, God, beautiful. man. I really, I don't know what gift they got them, but. What is he, like eight years old? Oh. Here, honey. <laughs> That's straight. And oh no, says. this is on top. Oh, this is from Walt. Oh God. This guy right here. Look, when this present's crappy, this guy. Yum, good ramen. Aww. Is that an inside joke? Yeah, must be something from when they were in unit together. This is what Walt and I <laughs> lived on for uh, 10 months straight while we were working on our thesis. <laughs> Sold them down at Ralstow's in the hardware aisle. Oh God. Yeah, 10 for $1.99. <laughs> to this day, I am convinced these noodles were responsible for our success. This was our lifeblood. I love that as a gift. It's so thoughtful. I uh, know, it's a perfect gift. Thank you, Walt. Well, for the man who has everything, that's what my mom always says for us, like, what do you get people that have everything, you know? And I always say, I don't have a Bentley. <laughs> anyway, I swear to Christ, he used to, he used to iron those patches under the elbows of his, uh, his members only jacket yeah. because he thought it made him look more distinguished. It didn't it? No. I thought it did. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that was a joke oh, that was used yeah, well, in Friends. It's not trough. It's not trough. It's not trough. Yeah, all you had to do was mention the Bunsen burner and he was off on a rant. Oh, he didn't invent it. You remember the waving? He just improved it, you know. Uh, it was easy to kill 15 minutes. Yeah. It's just interesting that he was like, this was responsible for our success. Yeah. But he's the millionaire and he's a teacher. Yeah. How does he not know? But you know what I mean is that that you and I should work together again. Oh. Are you asking me to come work for you at Grey Matter? Yeah, why not? You you'd fit right in. You're brilliant. You 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 got a ton of experience. Well, I I wouldn't really know where to begin. I mean, you know where you begin at the start. Always. You know what it's like when you you you've been trying to crack some problem for months on end. You get tunnel vision. One guy thinking outside of the box. You may be exactly what we need. You need the money. He's not going to go for that. Better than drugs, though. There's a reason that he's not working with them now. Probably because they're meant to be like this and it would be like this. Mm, yeah. I have some personal issues. But there's nothing we can't work out. I mean, your money would be very helpful. <laughs> we can help you. We oh have no! Health insurance. Wait, why would you say that? She told him, didn't she? She told him. That's the only reason that he's even talking to him about it. Yeah, when they were having their solo. That was not your place. You don't just go around telling people your biz. Yeah, not to his mate. Like if he wanted to tell his friend, you would have told him. <clears throat> oh, there goes the door. They were. Just, I must have had about 30 of those suckers. Oh, and the seafood table, did you see that? They had lobster tail, they had crab legs, like shrimp, they had... Read the room, honey! She is reading the room. You think maybe you can just have said that, he's fine, and then it would have been done? I don't like the way you're talking to I me. I don't like the way you talk about my private affairs. Oh. I'm not good when arguments happen. I'm no, like, no, 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 it's okay. He offered me a job. Yes, kind of like some fig leaf, you know, <laughs> some f face saving that allowed me to generously accept his charity. And then when I turned that down, he flat out offered to pay for my treatment. What did I tell you? I knew you would be the kind of guy to do that. Yeah, nice guy. No, I don't mean in Dickhead. a bad way. <laughs> I don't mean it like that. Okay, what did you say? What do you think he said? Do you not know your husband's pride? What do you think I said? 
Why? Why? Because he's, he's too, eagle. That's why eagle. Would you take the money? I don't know what their situation is. <laughs> but cooking meth seems like a lot more fun. I'm just saying. I mean, I don't get the TV show if there's no cooking of the meth, is there? No, no cooking of the meth. No Harvey what? the Harvey. Yeah, I mean, they could do it as a side hustle, I guess. Oh, yeah, you could go and work for him and then cook meth as a side hustle. Yeah. Everyone's got a side hustle nowadays. I don't. <laughs> your job is your side hustle. <laughs> I'm technically retired. It's quite boring. Their salt and pepper shakers look like little boobies. <laughs> little nipples. There we go. I'm taking the bus. Oh. Are they having breakfast with hot sauce on the table? Well, maybe they just never took it off the table. I just can't imagine having a cooked breakfast lab before school, you know that? Not before school, man. I was all about Rice Krispies for about ten years. I know, you just pour some cereal and crack on. Yeah, like who has time? Also, my mum's cooking. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. Well, I don't know the dynamics of like what happened between those two. But I wouldn't take charity. And that's my pride. Yeah. Don't be freaking Dude, knocking on Harvey like that. Uh, no, man, those are for like, um, you know. Ventilation. Uh, ventilation. <laughs> cool. Yeah. My dad told me that they were like rust. And rust goes like bullet holes sometimes. Big ass beaker, huh? <laughs> uh, hey, wait, wait, no, that's, yeah, that's uh, it's a boiling. Flask. This <laughs> is a beaker. Here's a Griffin beaker. Here's a uh, volumetric beaker. We talked about that. I was, no, I was going to say, An Mr. Erlen Jesse, Meyer knowing flask. what he's talking about. I know. Um, you got wow. Erlenmeyer flask. A conical mm -hmm. flask. Fucking Erlenmeyer. So, you got something for me? Oh, hells yeah. Cheers. See if he has sweeties in there. I'm gonna have to go to the shop. Right on, Badger. Dude, check this out. Yo, Jesus. Go. <laughs> what the hell are you bringing that for? For when the police come knocking. We might see javelinas. A what now? I have no idea. Is that like a hyena, but like a female version or something? It's like a chupacabra. <laughs> a chupacabra. <laughs> Well, knowing us, it's a really racist term that we're just completely taking the piss out of. <laughs> so do you think Jesse's learned anything? I do. I think that he's learned. He knows I love what that, to acid and what not. I love that Jesse is now looking at him the way Walt looked at Jesse. Yeah, like you're a loser, God. Know your stuff. Hey. We don't use the merchandise. We sell the merchandise. Um, I think your reaction was a bit, uh... A bit delayed there. A bit exuberant. You know the it. saddest part about this? Is this would be me and you. And I know which one I'd be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> He's not very useful, is he, his mate? Badger, no. But I did get him the, uh... Pseudo, pseudomenophrin? 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 You can do all this, but I bet you can't bake cookies like I can. No. Might be able to cook meth, but can you bake some cookies? See the money. Here. Uh, I need five each. Come on, two more. Here. Oh, is he buying buying booze? Buying drugs? Are you kidding? He's younger than us. Whatever. What about that guy? Nah, he looks like a businessman. So what? I'm just waiting for the guy to pull up that had the beamer. <laughs> yeah. Seriously, he's just gonna say no. Got to ask. This is our guy. Get up. Huh? Why, why do I have to do it? Give me the crutches and I'll go do it. <laughs> do you don't think he looks be? a bit like Tom Welling? We forgot our IDs and we were wondering if you could do us a favor and buy oh us Oh god, it's gonna bag. hit him. I feel like it's gonna hit him. You know, what you're asking is illegal. <sighs> um, no it's no. not. Yeah, it is. Oh. oh, for God's sakes. 
This is not how I wanted to spend my night off. Consider this your first and last warning. Yes, sir. You're lucky you got a good dad here. No. Oh. <laughs> Great. He's like, I promise I wasn't doing the weed and this wasn't my idea. Not cool, man. Not cool. What? You never tried to buy beer when you're my age? I'm talking about you calling me and not your father. Ooh. How do you think I make him feel? Yeah. Well, you just don't tell him. That's the point. Uh oh. I don't even know what to say to you. Oh, no, he's been told. Just go. I'll deal with you later. Oh, calm down. It's a bit of alcohol. I know, my dad like, was literally giving me bottles of beer from like, like 10 year olds. <laughs> I, like, when I was 15, I did the exact same, and I was drinking straight vodka. Like, boo hoo. Listen, do me a favor, all right? We all do teen things. Don't tell about the kid. Just a teenager trying to score some beer, you know? I'm wanting on this one. He has called Hank in there. When he finds out his dad's yeah, sure. sick, he starts acting out, you know? Looks like Hank. First the pot, and then this. <gasps> the pot? Ah! No, 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 no! no. no. <laughs> that's, that's not what it is! He told me the kid was smoking me. <laughs> I wasn't talking about Walter Jr. About Walt. He's like, wait a minute, I took him to that place. <laughs> he admitted it. <laughs> He's like, what did I do? <laughs> Walt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you should take Walt to that place, you to know. See the hooker. <laughs> 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 Why would anyone in their right mind choose not to do treatment, especially when it's completely paid for? Why is he doing this? Because it's not his money. How can you not understand? What we really need to do is sit him down, all of us, and, and get everything out on the table. Talk it all through. She's like, mm. Mm. An intervention? No, no. Yes, an intervention. Where everyone can voice their concerns and be heard. Yeah, I don't know if I could take someone's someone's money for that. I don't like that as well. Like, you imagine me and, like, Haley and Steven being like, you will do this. It's just going to push them further away. So what? Cloudy, not cloudy? It looks good enough to me. He's an artist, okay? Uh-oh. Straight in the bin. I mean, you can still sell it. People sell a lot worse. You used to put chili pepper on it. Are you out of your mind? I totally would have smoked that. Look, it's not for you. It's for our customers. They're going to demand Say, a don't standard. smoke your own. What? He's turning into Walt. Mm-hmm. We'll just do it again. Until we get it right. It's literally like... Play's <laughs> just going to start licking it off the ground. <laughs> yeah, so much for... Oh, my last partner was an... It's like, was he now? You certainly learned a thing or two. Maybe that's what Jesse needed in school. Yeah. Oh. oh God. <laughs> Walt. Have a seat. Please have a seat and join us. That she just sounded like a cult. <laughs> join us, Walt. Join us. Drink the tea, Walt. Oh well, they did take cheese and crackers. That's yeah, enough for right, anyone. Well. Yeah, I would totally be hanking this. <laughs> like, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, just having a scary one about cheese, no? no. I, I'd be like, I'm literally just here to listen. <laughs> I'm just here for the snacks, Walt. <laughs> this is not my idea. He probably thinks how oh, great the Noah murdered someone. Nah. He probably knows. I get it. She just cares about him. She doesn't want to lose him, and she's like, can we not just try everything? You yeah. can understand that. Oh no, Badger himself. He's like, he's going to throw this away again. We can do better. Don't you think about it. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus, guys. Do you know how long I had to spin that stupid sign? Get off me, psycho. Hell, God. No. See. Not in Harvey. Stop it. Oh, what was that? Right. You're off the team. Get out. 
Just drive away and leave him. Open the door. Yeah, that's what he's gonna do. Enjoy la dessert. Don't you dare! Don't you dare hurt Harvey! Why was that outside anyway? Oh, For was, God's sake! He was shooting chupacabras. He's gonna shoot his tire out. Stop doing it! Nope. Just shot the back. <laughs> well, at least he's not very smart. Yeah. Well, there's someone else we're gonna have to kill now. <laughs> what? I think that guy already knew that Jesse was a drug dealer, so I'm sure you're fine. This decision you've made is not only not in your best interest, it's not in the best interest of our entire family. Look, Skyler. Not yet. Please, I... Have the talking pillow! Talking pillow. <laughs> <laughs> I got one of those too, except mine's just black. This is your talking pillow. Remember the guy with the freaking talking rod and loader milk? <laughs> an issue for us, I'll give you that. But mm. more cheese. You need this treatment, and nothing can stop you from getting it. I'd be the same. Except I'd be a grumpy old man. I'm not doing it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna. He's got a good grumpy face. Am I allowed to respond? In no, minute, you don't have a totem below. We need to go around the circle. Oh, first. for God's sakes. Yes, everyone badger in on me when I'm already oh, dying. Man, I want some grapes now. Bloody Hank. Well, what I would say is Talk, that... Take, uh... take, take the talking pillow. <laughs> what is wrong with you? You're like a four-year-old woman. Oh, Jesus. God. I know I don't get to tell you this enough, but... Uh... I love you, man. I care about you. Hell of a lot, man. Oh. I mean, I mean, I can't tell you how many times I was, you know, I started with a hand and I ended up with a, you know, a full house. <laughs> Is this where we tell them that we murdered some people or? No, no. Oh, okay, okay. Hank, what the hell are you saying? No, please, Marie, let him talk. That's what we're here to do, please. Please, Marie, you don't have the talking pillow. She'd be great in circle time for primary school. Pass it around. You're next. What the hell's circle time? It's the bottom of the ninth. Bases are loaded. You're up. But you've got a bum arm, all right? No, that's when you bump. So you can either let the pinch hitter take the bat, or you can hold on to your pride and lose the game. You get what I'm saying? No, <laughs> not really, no. I get what you're saying. It yeah. makes sense, you know. If his daddy Warbucks wants to chip in, man, I'm, I'm, I'm with your old lady on this one. I say take the money and run, man. <sighs> Somebody want to take this thing? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he did make, he made a more compelling point. <laughs> yeah, I understand. From coming from someone like him who's going to have a lot of pride in himself. Yeah, yeah, of course. This is... Hey, come on. It, it's all right. It. What do you feel? I, I'm pissed off. Cause you're be, you're being. You, you're. Come on, you're kid. A, Ooh. You're like hey. ready to give up. But you don't know I kill a man. <laughs> oh. God. What if you gave up on me, huh? Oh. It's hard because he doesn't know, you know? And you're scared of a little chemotherapy? He's not scared of the chemo. He can't afford it. Well, he can't. He can get off the guy. Well, that's different, though. Me, personally? I think you should do whatever you want to do. Aww. What? You told us to be honest about our feelings. Walt's the one with cancer. It's his decision. It's not up to any of us. Oh my yeah. God, the girl that I can't stand. Thank <laughs> you so reason. much. I wasn't planning on agreeing with Walt, but after sitting here and listening to you all talk about his future, like he has no say in it, He's I just not think gonna that... have a future if he doesn't get treatment. I am a medical professional. <laughs> And some of them don't want to spend their last weeks or months being picked at by doctors. Yeah. But they got talked into it 
by their families. Hey, you know, can I get the pillow back? Because I, I agree with Marie on this one. No. <laughs> <laughs> die like a man, all right? Hey, die like a man. <laughs> That's the whole point of this. So either help or leave. <laughs> this is not debate club. This is my husband's life. You know, We're talking I make about one. Him. This is my Simple. husband. You're all arguing, but it's up to him and it's his life. You, you, are, you are all being so selfish. You were arguing too. You were, you were one of them. You're sitting there talking about a human being. I feel like I never actually make any of my own Aww. choices. I mean. He chose to, to cook meth and to kill a man and to... Well, he didn't really choose to kill Well, he didn't man. choose to kill the guy. He was put in that situation. This last one, cancer. All I have left is how I choose to approach this. Then make the right choice, Walt. Then it's no right or wrong choice. It's just what he wants to do. Yeah, whatever choice he chooses is a right choice. Don't you want to see your daughter grow up? I just... He, like, she's acting like he must take the treatment and everything's going to be roses and it's not. Of course I do. That's not yeah, fair. But, yeah, but if not, he's going to die. <laughs> like... No, but I feel like she's being really selfish here. She's not thinking about what will make him feel comfortable. How would you feel? I would do whatever's right for you. Whatever you wanted to do so that you could well, be what happy. What if I could survive? To just huh? survive. You wouldn't fight for that? Too sick to work? Yeah, exactly. To enjoy a meal? To make love? Listen, mate, you made Walt love once. That other time was just a weird, like, laptop handjob. I want to live in my own house. I want to sleep in my own bed. I don't want to choke down 30 or 40 pills every single day and... Too tired to get up. And so nauseated that I can't even move my head. That's what the amphetamines are for. You? Cleaning up after me. And me, what a... Some, uh... Some dead man. Some artificially alive. Just marking time. Yeah, with a small percentage that you might be okay afterwards. You're basically yeah, saying, I die now. Sure. As soon as I do that first chemo, my life is over. You know? With a tiny percentage that it's not. I'm sorry. I choose not to do it. I'd do it. You would? Oh yeah, of course. It's such a difficult decision to make. You know, I was thinking about it even off camera, where I was like, what, how would you feel in that circumstance where you'd think like, I want my partner to survive. I want them to have the best chance. It depends, because in his case, he's got a chance of it going into remission if he does the treatment. If they turned around and they were like, yeah, you could get an extra couple of years out of it. To be honest with you, I would still try it because I know people that have been told they'll get an extra couple of years and they're 10 years on now. Yeah. That's the thing. Do you live by the chance, but knowing that... Oh. You'll be taking that money from somebody else and, you know, there's all that pressure that comes along with that and... You were offered a sympathy job, you know? Well, to be honest with you, I think you need to have a look at the job as less of a sympathy job and more, I want to help you out. You could feel useful and it's a tax write-off. Oh, that's so sad that he just like sniffed her moisturizer. No. Yeah. You wouldn't know what thing of mine to sniff. I've got like 20 perfumes, 20 moisturizers. <laughs> Better call me, better call me. I'll just mix them all together into one hell scent. <laughs> That'd be so sad, like seeing all those books on the bedside table, like. Well, that is the circumstance of me saying to you, no more. This is just my chronic pain now for life after everything you've researched and. Yeah. I'll do the treatment. Oh.
Ich kann dann jetzt. How do you feel like if there was like okay. even a 5% chance I'd, I would understand, you know? Especially when you've got a son and a kid on the way, like... Yeah, you gotta keep fighting. But I also understand his point of view where it's like, I don't want to be like a vegetable. I don't want to be tired. I don't want to be sick and yeah. lose my hair and... My aunt had a very similar choice to make, but hers wasn't a... Uh... The lady from the billing office. You'll, uh... You might go into remission. It was literally a, like... We, can pay up for we could give you an extra year. And she was like, no, you can fuck off. And then Elliot will send a check, right? I will take care of it. God, see if he, like, screws them over financially and he doesn't send it. Walter White? Yes. I don't know. He says he was going to take a treatment. Well, he declined it from his mate, mm -hmm. and now he's said he's gonna do it. So, I hope that it's okay to go back on it. Just feels like... Well, I understand that it's a weird thing to say, but it feels like you're too old to have to start going through something so <laughs> yeah. taxing on your body. No, oh, I don't like that. Yeah, vacuum packed. A little bit of beef. A little some chicken. Like, I've never seen anything like this before. They, um... They give you tattoos for the laser beams to line up on. Like, actual tattoos? Yeah, my mum's got three tattoos. What? Yeah. That's crazy. Just little dots. Was that about his mates? I'm so scared. Like, I'm so scared he's not gonna get this money. Oh my God, remember those phones? Is that, the one that you, is that the one you could remove the wee black thing and change the colors? Oh, there you go. Elliot told me about the cancer. I, I, I'm, I'm so sorry. I know. It is what it is, I guess. What if she doesn't know about the money that was offered and he brings it up here? Mm. No, I'm sure, I'm sure she does. Well, Elliot told me he, he offered to pay for the yeah. treatment. You have to accept. That money, as far as we're both concerned, that, that belongs to you. Aww. Is this about you and me? Oh. I wonder if that's why he, uh, he left Elliot. Because he didn't want to see him. Yeah, he stole the love of his life. Gretchen, I really appreciate the offer. I do. Um, but we're fine. Uh, as it turns out, the insurance came through after all. Oh my god, what are you doing? Well, uh, anyway, I, I, I really appreciate it. I really do. Thank you. Good, that's good news. Uh, that's the biggest lie I've ever heard, though. Keep in touch, okay? Sure. She still sure. loves him too. Yeah, he doesn't want it. He doesn't want to seem like the loser that has to accept the handout. Yeah. Oh, well. Pride. Pride comes before the fall. Pride is a horrible thing. Pride comes before the That's a nice the cock. <laughs> I was that's what she said. I don't even think it was necessary. <laughs> <laughs> Walt, you're an idiot. You better phone up Jesse. There'll be people clipping that to be like playing it back to themselves. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's what Susie said to me. <laughs> That's a nice cock. Now that I've said that, I can't get your mother's got a out of my head. I thought you were going to say your mother <laughs> out of my head. I was like, see, it's me. Yo. 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 Hit the. <laughs> <laughs> cook you're damn right he wants to cook not with the other guy you want to cook i actually might say you want but he just uh mispronounced it oh that episode was over like too quickly i know oh man 
Yeah, so I feel like I can be harsh on Skylar, but when you put yourself in her shoes, mm -hmm. she's desperate. She's bringing another child into the world, and the last thing she wants is to be a single mum, you know, with a disabled son yeah. and a, a newborn, and she wants her family. And it's like, I... I understand where she's coming from with that, but it's just, I can also see what her sister was saying, where it's a case of like, sometimes this isn't the best for the patient. You know, what turns yeah, I mean, their the, end life into hell. Yeah, the choice has his, you know. But unfortunately, <laughs> he has not too much pride. There's obviously still. Not feelings. I don't want to say there's feelings there, but there's like remembering feelings from back in the day. There's obviously a lot more to what their friendship was. Mm -hmm. And how did he steal your girl? Yeah. You know, and... That's what they call me, Mr. Steal Your Wife. I think I was the steal your husband. I was never married. Well, but I, 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 I stole you for me. Was that you making noise or was that the dog? I don't know. What noise was it? Sorry, like, <laughs> Two sides, I'll, I'll see if I'll claim it. <laughs> yeah, so I, I I understand where that was going. And I can see why she came across as so desperate mm, yeah. on the couch. Because the last thing I would want to hear is you sat across from me being like, I'm not doing it. Because then all that I hear is, all right, I might as well start counting down your days. Yeah. And no one wants to think that of their partner. Yeah, even if the chance is slim, you still want to, to hope, you know? Yeah. And even though I feel like he's only doing it for her, because he had made that decision until he really saw how it was impacting Yeah. on her, I still think that... Uh, yeah, I think it's the right thing to do. I'd fight. But I definitely, suddenly there was onions everywhere and... It's those ninjas. Just, they just came out of nowhere and I was like, you were like, oh, the onions. And I was like, oh, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm fine. It's totally fine. Ah, so was it only two episodes left of season one? I don't know. Actually, I'll check that. I'm sure it's only I'll check seven. the drive. The DVD. The <laughs> DVD. Season one, episode seven, yeah? Oh, two wow. more. Only two more and then we're done already with season one and we've only uploaded like two episodes no, no, by crazy. this point. Anyway, so by the time this video goes up, we'll be well into season two. Ooh. Ooh. So now he's keeping that from his family. What? Well, the fact that, you know, oh yeah, I'll organize all that. Oh, you mean you'll go around selling the... I don't think he'll sell. Come on, he's a businessman. He'll do the cooking. And he'll get his underlings to sell. Yeah, but he's going to get dragged into it. Let's be honest. We all know oh. how Well, it's he's already go. been dragged into something. He's had to <laughs> kill a poor, poor innocent... Well... Innocent, upstanding citizen. Well, innocent being the, the word. <laughs> innocent being the first lie. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you guys. We hope you did enjoy this video. And we'll catch you all in the next one.